I guess it's got to be up there. That is, that's a hand. Yeah. <laughs> that it must would go be... up to its face. Yeah, so this must be what what they look like when they're when, because under the ground, right? Because yes. they're buried so that all you see is this, the face. But this yes. is this must be what they really are. Wow. Yes. Hey everybody, it's Ozone and Eagle Eye Fi. In the last episode, we uh, took on whoops, there we go, the Mukdo Rock that was right here. And mm -hmm. uh, found this light root. We found a uh, a little well, right? This this well right here is basically a gloom chasm right in the middle of the well, and that was very interesting. Uh, but I think we want to go try to get to this uh, light root over here, and it's like way up there. So if I was just suggesting that we do a little bit of climbing off camera, mm -hmm. and I said no, I got an idea. <laughs> But he wouldn't tell me what it is. No, it's actually. I'm sure John knows exactly what I'm talking, what I'm thinking about here, because uh, it, it was a suggestion, a reminder that John gave in a comment. So I appreciate that. It's like, yeah, yeah, I need to do that more often. And that is going to be the rocket on the shield trick. Ah. Fast escalation. And since now we actually have quite a few rockets, we should be able to do that. Let me make sure that I have a shield. I gotta get a a weapon that is one-handed so that I have my shield out. Actually, I don't even have a shield equipped. Nope. That's the problem. There we go. Rocket on a shield, and we should get quite a bit of distance up with this. Okay. At least that's what I'm expecting. <laughs> oh, look, there's some more nodes. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. Alrighty. Get in there. Yes. So nice. So nice. So nice. All right, so we should just be able to, like, zoom. Boom. Oh, we didn't get all the way up, unfortunately. I thought it would go. Did, did I hit something? I might have hit the roof. I don't know. You might have hit that little thing. Yeah, might have been too close and, and hit something because I felt like I bounced off. Yeah. I, I felt like I should have continued to glide upward even after the rocket ran out yeah but i don't know nevertheless we got a lot of distance covered with that rocket i was hoping that we were a little closer to the top can i now uh, uh i was hoping i could actually like stand still long enough and do it again <laughs> but it's a little too steep looks like we got maybe a nice a nice little area, area where you can stand up there yeah. a little bit. So that light route that we're going to should you be... You should be able to jump, though. Yeah. I was, I didn't want to commit with to it by jumping until I knew that it was going to be flat enough. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Um, but this uh, the light route up here should, should be all the way at the top. Since on the surface, it's all the way on the bottom. Right, so looking at the map, we're going for this one. It's this one, but it's like way down deep in this chasm. Okay. So that should translate into way up high, which, I mean, doesn't actually look like it's that that high up. Well, it did it again. It just, there was no As soon as it's, yeah, as soon as it huh. runs out, you just stop. You stop, yeah. That's unexpected, honestly. Oh, what are we here? Oh, frog dogs. Frog dogs. And we got a tower. Whatever the thing is. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Yeah. Five of them. Come on, helpers. Gotta dodge them. Oh, okay. 
all the helpers got all the rest of them, it looks like. Nice. Okay, we triggered everything and still didn't pick up the thing. Hey, there's the light route. Did yeah, you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Just so. behind the little yeah. roots. So I feel like that worked out pretty darn well and was absolutely worth two rockets. Save so much time. Yes. So, yeah, it's one of those things that I knew about, but I never felt like we had... Oh, those are keys. I won't say never felt like, but, you know, I always felt like the... What was that? Did you hear that? I did. That was weird. Anyway, I always felt like the Zonai devices were precious, and I didn't want to yeah. use them. Minoru. What is going on? What is that? It was like right here. Yeah, it's like you went into a force field or something. But get, get Minoru. Yeah, I thought I could just get around it, but well, now she's in the middle of the muck. I feel like I always got to do that now. There you go. There's more of them, but oh well. Yeah. Do I care about a couple eyeballs? <laughs> it seems silly to go back and do it, but oh well. It's well, there. We are. So this was actually easier to get to than I kind of would have normally anticipated, especially because of the rockets, you know? So, yay! Now we decided to head up to the north area here and try to knock off these last remaining light roots up here in the north. Yeah. That's the the bigger goal. Clear out that whole oh, top that's right. area. We need to go to the bargainer right here. That's also why uh, we came yeah. here. Um, yeah, I always like to look around and it see looks if Looks like a top-down view of Minoru. Kind of. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. It, it looks like Minoru. Yeah. Oh, baddies. A whole bunch of baddies. I wonder if they heard us coming. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> ah, darn it. Oh, come on, you're supposed to be muddled. <laughs> he kills his friend. I guess I did kill his friend. So go over and get him mad at the other guys. Lead him to these guys. Oh. <laughs> there was oh. a metal bud there. Nice. I guess he's muddled now. Yeah. Leave these. Okay, well, I was going to say, leave those two B to fight each other at and go get this guy. Eh. <laughs> For the moment, I'm safe up here. There's another guy behind you. Yeah. Behind. Oh, oh he's gone. Okay. Boy, that was, he really moved. Yeah. Let's see. Oh man. This is, I don't like Lizalpos because they're so mobile, you know? Yeah. They're very fast. They're very fast. Okay. okay. Well, he's not completely gone yet. No, he'll, he'll be back. But they're helping. Yeah, the helpers are really doing a lot yeah. right now, honestly.
Look at Riju down there doing her thing. Oh, really? Really, guy? Well, I'm just gonna go take that. Ah, oh, you, you beat me to it, man. Talk about fast. Yeah, really. I was trying to go take it from him so he couldn't get it, but oh well. thing spread it all over kingdom come and Minaru I guess you're ready already just do that already ready already ready already already dang that stuff goes flying I wanted to use Minaru because she's got the rocks on her hands you know So yeah, Yonobo is nice. He, she, he doesn't cost any durability on weapons and stuff, but the fact that it goes flying everywhere is not ideal. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah, I just, you know, me and controls. Once again. An arrow. A singular arrow. What, what is up here? Another zone. All right. Oh. I was going to say you could, while you were up there, lift the other box. Yeah. So, wow, that is that is quite the statue. Get your big rocks out of the way, Minaru. Min huh. All right, so where are we going to find the bargainer statue? It looks like it'll be on the other side, based on the ice icons. Hmm. I guess it's got to be up there. That is, that's a hand. Yeah. <laughs> that it must would go be... up to its face. Yeah. So this must be what what they look like when they're when because under the ground, right? Because yeah, they're buried so that all you see is this, the face. But this yes. is this must be what they really are. Wow. Yes. All right. I think you're right. Well, I'm gonna go back. And we'll do the old rocket on a shield trick again. But I gotta get to some level ground so that I can actually put the rocket down. That's what I want. Yeah, remember, you're sort of going right up his butt at this point. Yeah. So I would attach it, but then move away a little bit. Yeah. Or look up before you go up. We can also try to ascend and take... Uh, Go the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Take advantage of the height from the tree as much as possible. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Ah! All right, well, there is no more ascension. So, yeah. Let's go. All right, we get on the back side and that should be good enough. Climb up this hump. Yeah. Now what I'm unsure of is how many of these bargainer statues have we visited? Oh, hmm? Yeah, I was gonna say there's space. Mm -hmm. Let's throw down a light bulb. There there's the face. It's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> and Minoru, apparently. Uh, I guess. All right. <sighs> no. There we go. You who stands before me, make an offering. Offer pose to me spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. They are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander this land. I am one who returns all pose to the afterlife without prejudice. Good, evil, that is the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. 
There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. I take it you have encountered my brethren? At least two. Stay a moment. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the Dark Hood. If you desire it, you must make a suitable offering. I think we can handle that. 300 pose. Pretty easy. Okay, so we have all three of the dark pieces then. Um, and these other pieces, I think, are like special armor pieces that we got along the way that they can replace. Nice. Uh, do we have anything else that we need? We can get a... The Dusk Claymore, Magic Staff, Bigoron Sword. I Again, they're all two-handed, so mm -hmm. I try not to. Okay, so there's the Bargainer Statue, and then I know we've been to two more. Uh, yeah, there's two, bar two Bargainer Statues. Three Bargainer Statues? Yeah, three that we've been to. So this is the fourth? Fourth, at least. I don't really mark them that we have been there. But, um, hmm. I think that is the last one, though. I mean, we got the complete dark set. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I guess we'll figure it out. Yep. All right, so our next target is right here, and this is really, I mean, honestly, we could jump down this chasm and probably get really close to it, but I think we could probably also maybe fly to it from here. We gotta go due east. Do you see it? I don't see it. Of course, we are way up here. I can't even yeah. see the ground that we came from. No. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just YOLO it. Fly into the darkness, avoid the stalactite. That's right. Remember, tight top. Yep. I might have to like lose some elevation here. <laughs> yep. There it is down there. Oh, there we go. Easily fly to it. Yeah. We were so high up into the world. Or maybe that's not the one that I'm targeting. I'm pretty sure that's the one that I'm targeting. I don't know. It's the closest one anyway. Yes, it's the one that we can see. Right. And either way, we'll be able to knock one off and light up some room. Light up some... Basement. Light up some land. Yeah, that's the one that I was targeting. Woo! Apparently I was a little closer to the ground. <laughs> that's the risk of falling through the darkness like that. Knick knack. No. Nick a kick. <laughs> I like knick knack better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, looks like we got a mine back to the west. That we could potentially go take a look at. Let me let me look at this closer. Yeah, that that definitely looks like a mine. And then we've got our two our three remaining light routes going on up into the Elden area. So we've got a we've got a narrow spit of land to get to this one right here. But they all look like they're on about the same level, except that one, which is going to be really high up. So. What do you think? Should we should we go to the mine or come back to it at a later date? Mm, let's go look at it. Yeah, I like to go and check it out just in case it has one of the gear pieces in there. Yeah. That's primarily what I want. Because we got tons of Zonite right now. Although we do need to go back to the forges and... and uh, 
Let's see, where is that at? Yeah, we do. We need to go turn in a lot of our stuff and get some more battery power. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I have yet to run out of battery and wished that I'd had more battery. You know what I mean? Right. The Drenna, Drenna. Canyon Mine. Oh. Do we get a piece of gear? Nope. We get crystallized charge. I'll take another rock hammer though. And then, yeah, I, I don't see a whole lot else here except for Zonite. So rather than get this now, well, I guess we'll go ahead and get it. We'll just cut and come back when we're done. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll collect all the Zonite and we'll meet you back when we're done. All right, and we are back. We uh, ended up teleporting right back to the light route here and are on our way north northeast to uh, try to get to the next light route on the route. Yeah. I got turned around, of course. Always happens in the depths. Of course. Uh, frog, dog. frog dogs. Yeah. Do you see how much I care? Right. For the moment, I'm just going to try to leave it to the helpers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're way back there. They're way back there, and I'm fine. I don't see anything just yet. I actually... Oh, let's see. It was right in here that I saw... This looks like a Yiga camp to me. Yes. So it looks like we need to go up. There's a natural entryway here kind of between these two roots, mm -hmm. what it looks like. Although I'm not seeing the roots. Oh yeah, for sure Yiga camp. Yeah, I think the roots are bigger and up over us, which is why you're not seeing them. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. There's but, a chest somewhere. Well, I'm sure it's inside the Yiga camp. Yeah. All There's right. the dude you need to kill. Although uh, it's kind of hard to tell with all these people all around you. Isn't it? You know, I enjoy the helpers, but they certainly do make it visually difficult. Yeah, they're at times. kind of cluttered. Okay, also, so, somebody sees you. Yeah. Um, there is something there that... Uh, A weeble wobble. Okay. Oh! oh. Hello. Hello. He's got a cannon. He does. Okay. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. One cannon, one arrow, you know? That's it's still all the same, really. Yeah. <laughs> that was obnoxiously easy. It wasn't even a very good shot, honestly. <laughs> but I will take it. All right, so what is our schematic today? Da -da -da -da. Aerial cannon. Okay, yeah. now wait. Oh, so this uses one of these floating platforms, a rocket to make it up into the air, a cannon, and I don't know what those things are I guess it's just like a two cannons and a laser on top of it hmm and there's usually enough parts around to practice and use the schematic on but I'm... what did you get in the other chest <coughs> I didn't see um uh, 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 a, a large charge. Oh, okay. So a 20 value crystalline charge. Okay. All right, so we got some rockets and some cannons, and yeah, there we go. All right, so let's try it out. Let's put it together. And so it takes, there's a cannon, there's a rocket. Oh, those are some fans. Are those lights? No. 
Well, we got a cannon and a rocket. So it doesn't give us all the parts that we need. Can I go over here maybe and get some of these other parts? Hmm. No? I'm not really finding any of the other parts. Oh well. Nice idea, I suppose. I am going to go ahead and put the rocket on my shield. That's proven to be very valuable and useful. So, basically, anytime I find a rocket, I guess I'll throw it on a shield. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's see. Where do I need to go? I need to go this way. I uh, need to go more due east. Right behind the building. Did you read the... The journal? The journal. I didn't find... There's the journal. Yes, I got sidetracked. I meant to do that. <laughs> so, thank you for reminding. You're welcome. Under the Colosseum ruins on the surface, an imposing building similar to that Colosseum has been discovered. There are reports that as many as six such structures exist in the depths. There's one in the deepest depths below the Korok Forest near here. But there are rumors and eerie of eerie growls coming from inside. A courageous team member went to their went to test their metal, but we haven't heard back from them in quite a while. We hope they are safe. Wow, a Yiga that's actually concerned about the well-being of somebody? That seems very out of character. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to Master Koga. Okay, so the arenas, yeah, there are six arenas around. We found several of them, and uh, but not the one or at least I don't think the, we found the one underneath uh, the Korok Forest. Also, hmm. that's an interesting idea. They've got a weeble on a piece of wood, mm -hmm. and that holds it vertical. Yep, so if I knock it, it's going to fall over. Right. But you could use that as a way to ascend. Yeah, there's another. There is another board up here yes. or piece up here, so that you could so easily ascend. I could have ascended that. But yeah. all of the times that we have used, um, like another piece of board, the scaffolding pieces. Yes. Yeah. And the times when <laughs> there was a difficulty finding a place to set it. Like a couple of episodes ago where we couldn't find a good place to set it. Yeah, it was kind a of A weeble would have been a good way to, to set it and balance it. Yeah, it would have. You're, you're absolutely right. And we never thought about that. Right. Again, this goes back to the comment that I've, I've hit, I have felt like the, um, the Zonai devices were precious and needed to be guarded. But now For I've, what? <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. And now, but I mean, to a certain extent, now I feel like we've got enough and they don't need to be. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, what's the point of having them if you don't use them? Right. You just need to make sure to not use them poorly. Right. There's our light route. Oh. And... You. A sea of gloom. Frog There's dog. A frog dog. Yeah. Oh. That's a big one. Let's see if we can figure out how to get Minaru up and over this thing. Alright. We'll just keep on going. Oh, you've got. Oh, this is a, uh, a depot, a supply depot. Ah, oh, okay. A ghosty dude. Hmm. Monster camp. I think this will be a good place to take out and start flying. After I pick up some bomb flowers. Do you want to throw down a light route? Yeah, we'll throw down a light bulb. Let's use one of the big ones. We've got a lot of these big ones and we never use them somewhere. All right, so let's sort by...
quantity. All right. Oh, I thought we had a whole bunch of them. Yeah, there we go. The giant seeds. I've never actually, like I said, put one down to see how much they glow. So let's go over this way. Oh, there's an ascension point over there. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. That's a lot. Yeah, That's it a is. big area. Hmm. So the ascension point looks like it's... Mm, like right about here? Huh. I don't know. We'll have to take that sometime later. After we get to the light route. Yes. Let's use that first. We got a ton of these guys though. So let's just do that. Well, again, this was a little bit easier to get to than I had anticipated, honestly. So, I, I feel like, I don't know. The first few that we did, we were just really rumbling and, and having a hard time navigating the depths, you know? I feel like we've gotten a lot better at it. Yes. So it Well, like... we've, we've gotten a lot more supplies, and yeah. we've got our, you know, our assistants, you know? Yeah. So there's Holy the big old fire crime. temple. This Holy. Is, yeah. I mean, we were there. That's where we uh, um, had the big fight with the big boss fight, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's the arena that they're talking about in the Yiga camp. Mm -hmm. So we might have to try to go see that. Obviously, there's a way to get in right there. Mm -hmm. But these are our next two targets up here. And that will finish out this complete upper area. Yes. So we are getting really close to having this map all done. But as usual, that's going to have to wait for the next episode. Okay, dokie. <laughs> I know, we, but I mean, we got a lot done. We got We did. What, three light routes, two. Three two? light routes. Yeah. I mean, that's some pretty serious and progress down here. And a complete camp. And a yiga camp. So we're just knocking these things off. And the bargainer statue. To, and the, wow. Wow. <laughs> well, Hopefully we can keep up the pace. I don't know. We'll see how distracted <laughs> we get. All right. Well, catch us in the next episode. And remember, until then, be excellent to each other. We're out.